Education was always something that was important to me from my parents. I was studying labor economics uh, as a graduate student. I'd studied as an undergraduate as well. In labor economics, we know that it's about labor, which is about people. And so in economics, we say that you know your wage is equal to your marginal productivity, so how productive you are is going to determine how much you're paid. What determines how productive you are? Well, some of that is your schooling, or the question was how much of that is, can be attributed to schooling. So I've investigated some of those questions, just how important, what is the return or the benefit of schooling in terms of the labor market. So what my, my uh, dissertation topic was, was on community colleges. I highlight this because of how do you find questions. So I was actually working on a different problem that one of my thesis advisors, Larry Summers, had suggested that I think about, which is whether one could find relationships between the industrial composition of states and other aspects of states and how much they invest and what the return to schooling would be in that state. And so I was trying to understand about the higher education systems in different states, and I was spending a lot of time at the ed school at Harvard uh, looking through their digest of education statistics, and I realized that a college, um, when they count up who's in college in different states, the enrollments, it included people who'd been to both four-year college, which I expected, but also people who'd been to two-year college. And I'm from, I'm from California, where the community college system is huge, and where almost everybody I know from California has enrolled in a community college for some reason, including myself. I took a typing class, I took a Shakespeare class, and I thought, oh, I wouldn't have thought of the community college as college. Let me learn more about it. There weren't a lot of data sets which helped one to understand students who'd been to your college at the time, uh, but there was one that I was working on for, as a research assistant for another faculty member. And so I was able to better understand what are the economic benefits of going to a two-year college versus a four-year college, who goes to two-year college versus four-year college, um, and whether that makes a difference if you started a two- or four-year college for your educational attainment. I, I highlight this because I think that really interesting questions are those that are right there in front of you, and you realize that people have not studied them. So here, what we had was actually probably most people who've been to college in this country have been to two-year college. So it's right there in front of us. It's a big phenomena, and yet when academics had looked at the economic benefit of going to college, they'd focused on the four-year college. So we just didn't know. Another place I suggest my students look is the newspaper. Newspapers are full of um, claims that have not been backed up empirically or been well studied. It's based on intuition by whoever they're speaking to or someone's anecdotal experience. It's full of it. So, you know, it's really, I think it's a question of questioning, being curious, and looking for things that really just really interest you. There are lots of questions out there that need to be answered.